the Stade Chaban Delmas in Bordeaux. Nice little stadium that holds 25 grand. And the pre-match coin toss. And of course, handshakes all around for the captains. And like us before the show, handshakes Always all around. Always shaking How hands you with crew. Yeah, good to see you. Yeah. Yeah. Keep up the good work. Good luck with that tonight. <laughs> to game action, free kick. And here's Bordeaux in the dark. Bruno Shadu with the delivery. And he low balls it under the wall and past the keeper. What a sneaky little play. Uh, sneaky but smart. Let's get that good, straight. Good sneaky. Goal in the 57th, uh, beating Guillaume Warmu. Cheru with the delivery. The middle of the wall jumps. Très facile pour Monsieur Cheru as he scores the only goal of the game. And Warmu is in his Monaco side. Video evidence will tell us. Uh, while Toulouse played at home to Saint Etienne, first to the Champagne region of France, where Troyes played host to the big club from the capital. This is what we like to call in the business an establishing shot Very nice. of the stadium. Stade Laube in Troyes. Home side in dark. Nice through pass here for Sebastian Gras. Stopped by Lionel Letizzi. That chance Troyes in the fifth minute. Half an hour later, right after a failed Troyes free kick. Look at this. Bernard Mendy sends it for Pauletta. Chips the keeper, and it's 1-0 PSG on a real gem from the Assyrian Eagle. Traveling PSG fans, look at that. Boy, they love their team. Pauletta scores again for the Parisian side. It's fourth of the season, and this one was a beauty. Another top tenner. Pauletta splits the defense, then chips Ronan Lacrom. 1-0 after 35, 1-0 at halftime. Second half, Trois looking to equalize. Ball is crossed from the left, and uh, center is Sebastian Dalle, and he makes it 1-1 after 48. Now, 10 minutes later, jostling in the area for this free kick, and uh, the free kick is now delayed. Mario Yepes is holding his head whilst protesting to the match referee. Yepes wants something done, so the ref consults with his assistant to see what she saw. All the while, Yepes still complaining. And you watch the uh, referee's assistant see that pulling motion. Well, this is what she saw. Blaise Kouassi pulling on the ponytail of Yepes. So the referee would come over, calls Kouassi over, and what's he going to get here for pulling hair? Scissors? Oh. <laughs> Yellow. And Kuwasi isn't happy. And look at he starts chirping, and the referee says, wait, wait. So he calms down. He should have been red carded. Not for that, but how about this? Pokes Pauletta in the eye. The guy has lost it. Pulling hair, poking eyes. Yes, it's just like the Fox Sports World Report Christmas party. This one ends 1-1. One, one. Other match saw Toulouse in the lilac strip versus St. Etienne in green. A ball to Frederic Mendy on the left side, and that one is uh, over the bar behind Christophe Revo. Chance in the 34th. Uh, six minutes later, free kick Toulouse. This is Daniel Moreira to deliver, and deliver he does. Goal in the 41st. The Frenchman beating Jeremy Jeannot, 1-0 Toulouse at halftime. Second stanza, corner St. Etienne, Vincent Hognon with the header, and that's over the bar. Chance in the 58th. Now the same minute, Fode Mansare passes outside to Franceluro Santos, but he's stopped by Jano. Saint Etienne now looking to tie the match. Down in the corner, it's Frederic Picchione along the touchline. Turns the corner, the chip, the deflection, and the one-timer by Daniel Heldbuk. Yes, it took a deflection, but the goal still counts. That's the equalizer. Saint Etienne drawn again. Into the picture. 